Okay, so today I decided to do a... Oh, oh God, I need to stop yawning in all my videos. Um, I decided to do a, a bunch of reviews on a bunch of random toys that I've gotten over the last, like, two years or three years or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to start off with a duplicate that I've gotten last month and two boring toys I've gotten in 2021, so... But uh, don't worry, because I got other better things on the weeks or days ahead. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure if they're ever going to be that. Well, I know a few of them might be interesting to you guys, but, you know, let, let, let's get on with it already, all right? So first up, we have a duplicate of something that I've already reviewed back in 2021, which I've also previously reviewed in 2019. It is a third Shokor Carousel from... Uh, Language Nursery Mozart. Yes, I now have two. It would have been three, but, you know, I broke, um, I broke my first one in, uh, 2020, um, in late 2020, and then I got, uh, this one in 2021, and then I got this one back in, like, May or April of 2023 at a, uh, Sabres. Uh, this, um... Which is the exact one from the video, because of the animal pattern. There's the cat, and the dog, and then the rabbit. And then you have the one that my original show of I still had. <sighs> the cat, the rabbit, and then the dog. Although, really, I don't think the animal order really cares for a lot of people, but... You know, it, it's, it's fine with me, though. Um, this one definitely looks a little bit more cleaner, obviously. Uh, the dome just looks a little cleaner, not to mention there's a bunch of scratches and marks that are barely visible. Compared to this one, this one's kind of a little dusty. I mean, if you can tell. But hey, it does work. Let's turn this one on. Yeah, so you guys get the point. I've already reviewed this three times already. In fact, this might actually be the the one toy that I've already reviewed in three separate videos. One in 2019, the other in 2021, the other one, this video. But yeah, no, this is my third Shellcore Carousel. Technically, second one I have currently, but, well, yeah, I, I still have pieces of the Shellcore Carousel around. Um... In fact, I might actually have some in my drawer over there. I'm not sure if I can get them because I'm too lazy to go through it all. Um, but yeah, no, that's the show for carousel. Um, next up, well, actually, let's just go for the boring toys now because, like, come on. They're both saver toys I got in 2021. Um, one of them I actually used to have, believe it or not, and the other one, well, it's not really that special. Let's go to the non-special one first because, you know, come on, everyone likes those. Uh, apparently this thing can only go on one finger, I think, or maybe both. I don't know if it's designed to go on one or the other finger, but it is the, uh, Caterpillar from First Moves, I think? Was it the Carly Caterpillar? I got a little confused between the two, uh, Caterpillar names, uh, the Wind Up and then this. Um, I know it's made from the same company of the bee from, uh, Neighborhood Animals, but, you know, is it, I'm not, I'm not too sure about the name, though. Um, I can tell this was definitely made in the 90s based on, like, the designs of the vases and all this stuff and, you know, how colorful it is. I know 90s are basically all colorful, so, and it, it's pretty nice, though. I, I definitely like, um, the, uh all the colors on it and all that stuff. It's pretty cool, I guess. Yep. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it's something. Uh, when I first got this at Savers, um... It was basically, um... Ugh. It was already, like, dusty as shit. 
So I basically just had to clean it. Um, I definitely don't think I got this on the exact same day I got this next toy, but I can't really remember. I definitely got a couple of things at Sabres back in 2021, but I just can't really remember what they were or like when I got them, actually. I remember a lot of them, but, you know, I just don't remember when. Uh, but yeah, this was probably in like September, I think, maybe. I don't really know. During my senior year, obviously, and I didn't really, you know, reviewed that much because I was like a lazy fuck. So. Yeah, it's still cool, I guess. Uh, let's see if there's a tag on this thing. I'm putting down my phone for like the millionth time. It doesn't look like there's a tag on this thing at all. Or nowhere on the body either, so. But hey, at least it's still a cool puppet, I guess. Glove puppet. I still like it. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is the Carly Caterpillar question mark puppet. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Or the final toy in this video. I'm, my goal here is that I'm trying to do at least possibly three toys per video and I don't know when I'll be releasing them I've actually already released did um, a video for July 8th or 9th uh, I think it was July 8th <sighs> and, um, I already reviewed I already put down like three random toys in there and then you know why not just do the same here and all the other ones so you know what let's just do it so the last toy I got here is something that I actually used to have. I actually have it in a baby photo of mine. And I even even though I don't really remember having it, um, the photo can definitely confirm that I definitely had it. Um, it is this. You guys have a hard time recognizing this toy? Believe me, I think a lot of you does, um, do. It is actually the, um, the Puffy's Bear from uh, Meet the Orchestra. I think he was, uh, yeah, he was playing the clarinet in the woodwind section right before uh, the uh, circle transition uh, closes on him. Uh, the plush itself is actually pretty neat. I actually do like it. And yes, you definitely saw a few toys just there. Uh, you know, uh, just be prepared for those as well in future videos. Um... So, uh, I don't even know where to start. It's just a Savers toy. It's just a bear, um, made by T.Y. Uh, Puffies. No tag or anything. But, I do know that there, I still need the pig and the cow out there, so. I guess that's something I should probably get soon, maybe. I don't know. I've been trying to get them for two years now, and I still haven't gotten them because I have been focused on other things that I've been trying to get, such as all these other toys that um, I haven't reviewed yet. So, you know, keep stay tuned for those. Uh, I don't know what year this was made in, but like I said, it's definitely a cool plush beanbag toy. I like it a lot. Really unique. I like it. But yeah, it's just a bear. What else could you just ask for? You could just find it anywhere. Um, yeah. I have no idea what else to say about it. It's something that I used to have. It was a bear that was in the clarinet section. And uh, it's a pretty cool bear. But yeah, that's it guys about the review. We have a new Shulker carousel, uh, the Carly Caterpillar, I think, and the uh, the bear. Cool bear. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, that's all I have to say. And um, if you guys like this video, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe because I'll be coming out with a bunch of more toy reviews possibly this month. Um, and you guys might actually be shocked about some of the stuff that I actually have. So if you guys definitely want to see some more of that, definitely consider subscribing, if you haven't already. Um, even though I am a trash talker. But anyways, this is Camera C, signing out. See ya!